Welcome to the Maximo Application Suite video series brought to you by Maven Asset Management. In this video, let's take a look at the new maintenance cost rollup functionality. This functionality is so important as it provides that very critical data point in understanding your asset's health and status. By knowing how much it is costing you to maintain your individual assets, enables you to make those really critical repair or replace decisions. But let's first start by understanding the business rules behind the functionality. First, this is a new action that was introduced in the asset application. What it does is it rolls up the work order costs, labor, materials, services, and tools to the asset on the work order and the top level asset it belongs to. And I'll show you an example of that in just a minute. The action was introduced in both Maximo Manage 8.1 and Maximo 7613, and it is intended to replace the BERT asset cost rollup report that re performed these similar actions. It streamlines the report, however, because it can be done automatically and how that is enabled with the system property, the work order roll-up maintenance costs. By default, the property is set to zero. However, if you set the property to one, as soon as a work order is closed, those work order costs will be applied to the asset and the parent asset automatically. If you leave it at the default value of zero, you'll have to perform the action or take that action to roll up those costs. And also this is very important is that the work order must have a status of close. This enables any cost adjustments to be made. For example, if labor is charged incorrectly or material is charged incorrectly, those adjustments can be made to those transactions but as soon as the work order is closed, those costs are set and then are available to roll up to the asset. So let's look at this by using some sample data that Maximo provides. In Max Demo database, there is a set of assets that form a hierarchy. The parent asset is asset one is shown here and you can see the parent value is null. And then as we scroll down here, you can see the child, the grandchild, great grandchild, et cetera and they all have the associated parent. So what we're gonna do in our example is drill down into this, and let me show you with another slide here, is we're gonna start on the very bottom of our hierarchy with asset one, two, three, four, five. Out of the box, this asset has a total cost and year-to-date cost of zero. Well, we're gonna create a work order that has $252.72 and of cost. Those costs are made up of labor, materials, and tools. After we close the work order, our asset cost roll-up is set to automatically roll up, so that cost of the work order is going to be assigned to the total cost and year-to-date cost of the asset and also the parent asset. None of the assets in the, the middle of the hierarchy affected, but the parent asset is going to have that $252 applied. Well, what's unique about the parent asset, it already has a year-to-date cost of about $382. So it will take the existing $382, add the new work order cost of $252, and bring that top-level parent up to $635. So again, looking at the hierarchy, our work order cost on the asset one, two, three, four, five are applied and also to that top level parent. So now let's go to Maximo and do a demonstration of this new functionality. Okay, so let's take a look now at this functionality in the application suite with Maximo Manage. I've brought up that hierarchy that I had described. Asset one is the top level parent. You can see its parent's value is null. And then we're going to work with the asset one, two, three, four, five, which is at the lowest level of the hierarchy. If I click on asset one, two, three, four, five, and scroll down to the details, see here that the total cost and year-to-date cost is zero. If I navigate back over here to my list view, and now I look at my top level parent, there's the $382 for both the total cost and year-to-date cost. 
To confirm the difference on what these are, year-to-date cost is going to total the cost for the individual year. For example, we're in 2022, so those costs are for 2022. The total cost is the total cost for all years that the asset has been in operation, could include 2021, 2020, et cetera. But in this case, all the costs are right here in 2022. But now let me go over to the work order tracking application. And I'm going to bring up my asset one, two, three, four, five. And I believe that's going to be an approved status. And let's see if we can find that individual record. Here we go. Perfect. Maintenance cost roll up. Let me skinny down or close down my action and let's focus on what we have here. I have my work order number. It's associated to that one, two, three, four, five. If I look at my plans, I have a couple of different tasks. I have for each one of those tasks, I have a mechanic labor assigned. I have a few different materials over here and also some tools. If I go over here to my actuals, I'm going to kind of fast forward this work order. I have now assigned or excuse me, reported labor actuals for my mechanic who is Bill Sinclair. And I've added quite a few hours so we can see he's got 11 hours reported at two. $21 an hour, so that's $210 in labor. I've got some up. I don't have any materials reported. Let's grab those materials. Yep, we want to have those reported. And do we have any tools? Yep, we've got our tools. So let me save that again under our actual tab for this work order. I have tools, um, $16. I have some materials. This totals to about five. And then my labor is 210, so approximately $250 here for this individual work order. Now my status here is actually approved. And remember how I mentioned that the work order actually has to be closed before the cost can be rolled up. And the reason that occurs is maybe you need to make some labor adjustments, material adjustments, whatever it might be. Well, again, I'm gonna fast forward here and I'm just gonna go ahead and close this work order and click OK. Now what is, um, should happen with my asset one, two, three, four, five that this is associated with these individual labor, material, and tool costs of approximately $250 will be rolled up. So let's go ahead and see how that happens after I change my status to closed. And we'll just wait another minute here. Now you can see over here, the status of the work order is closed. Let me navigate back here to my work order tab. And one easy way that I can do this is I'll go right over here to assets for that individual asset number, one, two, three, four, five. Scroll down here again to your cost and see how the $252 is now applied. So this individual asset jumped up from zero to $252. If I wanna go back um, I could go back many different ways. I probably should have stayed over in the asset application. But let me bring up that hierarchy that we had again of our asset one, two, three. And now what we're expecting is this individual, the parent, jumped up from 382 to 250, or excuse me, 382 plus 250, which brings a total to 635. So see how quick and easy that is. Again, we have those labor, material, services, and tool costs associated to an asset on a work order. When that work order is changed to closed, those costs go up to that asset level, which in our case was asset one, two, three, four, five. Scroll down here, see the $252. And at the parent level, my parent level of my 635, which was the previous value of 382 plus my new value of 250. So great new functionality with maintenance cost rollup in Maximo 7613 and Maximo Manage 8.1 in future releases. Thank you very much for your time.